I don't understand why you're so afraid to tell your mom we're engaged. I'm not, but my mom keeps hope alive for Evangeline by remembering how things used to be before the coma. Evangeline and I were over before that. I know, but my mom feels like if she closes the door on you and Banj, then she's admitting that her daughter's never gonna wake up again. Well, what about her other daughter? The one who has a right to go on living? The one who has a right to get engaged? Christian will tell her. But can we just enjoy this gorgeous day before we head into the storm? Sure. Thank you. I'll give you something to enjoy. <laughs> We didn't know anyone was around. It's a club uh, with members. Usually that means there's people around. Sorry, we didn't know that you were... No, 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 no. It was my mistake. I just thought this looked like a place to get changed. I didn't know it was a cheap motel room. Don't make it seem like we were well, doing I something. I care a less, okay? I don't care what you're doing here with uh, Cabana Boy over here. Cabana Boy, is this what they're paying you for? I don't think it is. Matthew. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. I don't plan on being Cabana Boy for much longer, but for now, I'd like to keep my job. I'll see you later, Dan. I hurt you, and you didn't deserve it, and I'm really sorry. But that was on me, not Nate, so don't take it out on him. I'd like to get changed if you don't mind. Thanks. What I did to you? Oh, Vicky, thank God you're here before he tries to finish me off. What happens? What happened to you? He attacked me. I what? Oh, it makes sense. You've seen how she looks at me. Me? Who? Your wife. David, that's ridiculous. Vicky, there's no need to apologize. You can't help yourself. David, for heaven's sake. Dorian, there's no need to panic. I'm going to be fine. What did you do this time? Me? I'm the one on the floor having been sucker punched. Ugh. I didn't even see it coming. Charlie, <sighs> sweetheart, did you hit him? Of course he didn't. Charlie would never hit David. Excuse me? Charlie has a voice. He can speak for himself. Excuse me? He doesn't need to because you've already taken the defensive for him. Will you zip it, Dorian? I'll tell you what happened. I walked through the doors expecting to see you. And who should I see? But David Vickers lying on the floor like a beached flounder. Hey, easy. See, I told you Charlie didn't hit David. Yeah, well, somebody sure did. Well, then I suggest we find out who did do it. Your father said he was bringing you by in a couple of hours. Couldn't wait to feast your eyes on that baby, huh? Yeah, it's nice. Nice! That baby is fully loaded. You want to take it for a test drive? The traffic oh, this time of no, day thank is you. not much. No, you can I've, really, I've really see what she... Don't. Thank you. Not to mention the safest car in the world. Your father made sure of that. The old man's pretty overprotective. If I were you, I'd watch my back. <laughs> Good to know. I'll get the paperwork. Didn't really picture you in that SUV. What should I be driving? I don't know, not that. That thing belongs in front of a bank guarded by guys with machine guns. My dad wanted to buy me a good, solid car. What did you expect? I don't know, like a little, you know, V8 convertible, you know? Instead, he picks out a big old giant tank. I'm a mom. I have to drive Hope around. And excuse him if he wants us to be safe. I was just joking, Star. I mean, your dad did great. Must be nice to have someone who loves you that much. When I heard Star and James talking, it sounded like they were going to be away for a few days. Well, she said she needed some time. She's probably not back in Landview yet. Look, I need to talk to her. Especially after all the stuff that doesn't make sense. I need to figure out what's going on. Isn't it kind of obvious not, right now? Not until I hear it from her. Look, if, if there is something going on with this James guy, she has to be straight with me. All right, so I'm not leaving here until they get back and we figure this out. Okay. Look, Star is very vulnerable right now. And if, if this guy took advantage of her, if he did anything to hurt her... And what? You better hope that I don't do the same thing to him that I did to Todd. 
I want you to be safe too, Star. And you will be. As soon as I can get that money back to Bull, I'm out of here. I'll never have to see you again? No. I'll walk out of your life. Forever. Well, there's no evidence that somebody broke in. The door's already open because I was already here. Which is interesting, as I have absolutely no recollection of having invited you. Oh, I knew that you wouldn't mind, and the sun's so much better up here. Friends don't let friends turn pasty. Now, I would like to invite everyone to try this delicious chicken salad. Yes, it is delicious. Lois is famous for her chicken salad, which is the reason Charlie asked her to make these sandwiches for us, just the two of us. Well, I didn't want you to have to lug it all the way up here. It's called trespassing, Vickers. Says the guy who hit me in the head. I think that's called aggravated assault. And that's called slander. And I am not gonna stand here Wait a minute, and wait a minute, Dorian. What are you even doing here? And how did you get here before me? I thought you two had an interview. Okay, no, see, there was no interview. It was just something that Dorian came up with to keep you and me apart. I, the, the interview was over before it started. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> so what do you think, Marasco? Excellent choice. I, know, I thought about a fancy restaurant or a sold-out show. But... but we couldn't wear shorts. Yeah. This way it's just us and the water and the big blue sky. It's beautiful. You're beautiful. <gasps> Whoa! <clears throat> Thanks, man. Too bad that money's bogus, right? I'm sorry, what? The prom money from the play? If that stuff was the real thing, you wouldn't be a towel jack. You'd own this place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Uh -huh. Cabana boy, uh, that's dirty. I want another one. Sure. Sit down. What was that money you guys were talking about? Hey, Destiny, do you have a second? I need to talk to you about math. Excuse me, ladies. But I need to get in touch with someone you might know. Star Manning? I know Star. She's my half sister. <laughs> hey, did I come to the right place or what? Now I need to know where I can find her. Sorry to keep you waiting. Because you are a little early, the paperwork wasn't finished being processed. Uh, no problem. Now all we need is your John Hancock right there. N no, actually, I'm not here to pick up the car. I need to cancel. Cancel what? Well, I want to take the money that my dad spent on the car and put it towards college. I'm sorry. I'm not following you. I want my money back. Oh, please, don't get all worked up. So, so you, you want me to let some guy try to steal my girlfriend? Star is not helpless. She has a mind of her own. Maybe what you were going through got too hard for her. You want, you want to talk about hard? Hannah, you weren't here a year ago when I got messed up on pills. Star made me want to get better. She made me want, I didn't want to have a life. That's why none of this makes sense. Star's not the kind of person that would run off with some guy she just met. People can surprise you. You know? You think you know them. But you don't. When I told her I didn't want her to visit me in jail anymore. She must have thought that I wanted to break up. Probably. That, that's, that, that's not. That's not what I was trying to say, though. I wasn't trying to close a door or anything. She should have known that. You know what they say? When one door closes, another door opens. Maybe this is for the best. You want your money back? It's a great car. It's just that I don't, I don't need it right now. And you know what? She hasn't signed anything yet, so this shouldn't be a problem. Actually, it is. It's been customized. That car is now worth over $60,000. Well, we could always take less because of all the custom stuff. Okay. I'd be fine with, what, 50000 Your father's name is on the purchase order, so I have to get his approval. Uh, here's his number right here. I'll give him a call.